Hello and welcome to Timelines of Power, where I take Dragon Ball characters and analyze their power-ups throughout the series. Today we're talking about Master Roshi, his current power, and what he has done throughout the series. So back in Dragon Ball, Master Roshi was known to train a little bit. He had already proven himself in the 21st Tenkaichi Budokai by winning the tournament against Goku, even destroying the moon in the process. However, come the 22nd Tenkaichi Budokai facing off against Tien, he decides to leave it for the younger generations, admitting that if they had continued the fight, Tien would have defeated him. Later, he faces off against Piccolo Daimao, and after failing to use the Mafuba, dies from the strain of the technique. And then of course comes back to life, and then doesn't do very much for the rest of the series. Now come DBZ, he does nothing in terms of training and whatnot. Now fast forward to Dragon Ball Super, Battle of Gods, he doesn't do anything. Resurrection F, however, he starts to have somewhat of a role in fighting Frieza soldiers. Now back on Namek, Frieza soldiers were stated to be around Raditz's level, and it's stated here in the Resurrection F saga by Frieza that they are just second class warriors. Meaning, at least to me, that they are weaker than the original Frieza soldiers, aka weaker than Raditz. So it is understandable if Roshi had trained the entire time during Dragon Ball Z that he would have reached this level by this time. So it's not that far-fetched to believe. So during the subsequent arcs of Dragon Ball Super, we have the Universe 6 Tournament, as well as the Future Trunks arc or Goku Black arc. Which of course we don't see Roshi very much if at all, and we could just say that he was training during this time. But now comes the tricky part, the Universe Survival arc. During Tien and Roshi's recruitment episode, we see that a Roshi that has been taken over by magic, it is not stated that this magic makes him stronger, fairly easily gets the better of Tien, who is a character that is always training, always stated to be training, trained on Kikai's planet, held back semi-perfect cell, and knocked away a blast from boot tanks then immediately after starts going toe-to-toe -to -toe with base Goku. This is a Goku, by the way, as it has been shown, is at least around the level of Boo, and I personally think that's low-balling him. But as it is with this series, there is a lot to be open to interpretation. Like Goku was holding back, etc, etc, so a lot of it depends on how you view it. However, if you look at Goku's statements, you know, his fists are tingling, and you know, he's impressed with Roshi's power, and he's like, oh, you've been hiding your power this whole time. It seems that the creators are trying to tell us visually that Roshi is actually close to this level, or at least way above where he should be. Or it could be that Goku is simply just impressed with how much stronger Roshi has got, and Goku resorts to a Kamehameha to put him out. And the Tournament of Power begins. Everybody begins fighting, Goku rushes toward Topo, but is sidetracked by Ganos from Universe 4. And we see that Goku is a little bit pushed back by this guy. Later on, in the Master Roshi episode, episode 105, Roshi faces off against Ganos, who was pushing Goku back in his base form, and then transforms into giant ducktails. Now keep in mind that this is a weakened Roshi who fought two warriors before this, and used the Mafuba, which is a huge strain, if not a killing technique, on the user. Roshi, due to experience, not power, is easily sidestepping this guy's techniques because he is just a better martial artist in general. However, Ganos gets the better of Roshi, but eventually loses to Roshi, overcoming his limits and becoming even more strong, defeating Ganos. And last but not least, we have Roshi facing off against Frost. This is a Roshi, mind you, that has completely exhausted all of his power fighting Ganos. He does one more Mafuba against Frost, but fails, and then is able to A, hit Frost, and B, push him back. Now Frost is, as we've seen in the Universe 6 tournament, is a character that is at least, bare minimum, a base Goku level character. Now of course, Frost easily overcame Roshi, so a lot of this is left to how you view it. You view it as Roshi was pushing him back because he was so strong, he did get at least one hit on him. Or do you view it that Frost was surprised when Roshi powered up, he didn't think he had that much power left. So with this series there are few definitive answers to questions like these, but it seems to me, through the visual communication that they're trying to portray in this series, both with the fight with Tien, the fight with Goku, Ganos, and Frost, 
that they are making Roshi way stronger than he probably should be. Especially with the explanations that they have given. We have Goku saying, oh Roshi you've been hiding your power and doing secret training. However, he was getting tired during the Resurrection F arc fighting second class Frieza soldiers. So was the secret training only since Resurrection F? So do you think Master Roshi's power makes sense? Do you think it's contrived? Stupid? But I hope the video was informational in shedding some light on why Master Roshi's power-up in the Tournament of Power might not make sense to a lot of people. Of course, as always, share the video. Thank you very much for watching. Take it easy.